Hey there, I wanted to make a follow up on my last video by showing you how to deploy your multiplayer game to AWS. In this video, we're going to be using a Windows server as our operating system. The previous video and project files will be in the link of the description of the video. All right, first let's go ahead and build our project. Make sure the is server variable is checked before building. Now that we have the server build, let's go ahead and move to the AWS console. Once you're logged into the AWS console, go ahead and navigate to the EC2 page. Click on Instances running and launch an instance. Select the Windows image in the Quick Start panel. Scroll down the key pair and create a key pair. I'm going to create a PEM key pair and name it Demo Multiplayer Key Pair. Go ahead and scroll down to network settings and change allow RDP traffic from anywhere to my IP. I'll have it blurred on the video. Make sure all of your settings are how you want them. I'm going to keep everything default and then name my instance before launching the instance. Navigate back to the EC2 panel to see our new instance. It should show its state as pending. Once the instance state is running, go ahead and click on connect. Click on RDP client and download the remote desktop file. When you press on connect, you will be required to present a password before connecting to the instance. When you try to retrieve the password immediately after creating the instance, it will prompt you to wait a few minutes, so go ahead and do that. Check on it every so often, and once it requests for your key pair, go ahead and browse for wherever the file was downloaded to and select it. Click on decrypt password. Your password will now be revealed, so go ahead and copy it to the clipboard. You can now present it to the password prompt to connect to your instance. Press yes and wait for the instance to load completely. Now that the instance is loaded, navigate to your Windows firewall. I'm going to turn off the firewall, but you can optionally create inbound rules to the ports you need to open. The Windows firewall in an EC2 instance is just redundant security, and so it is up to you how much risk you're willing to tolerate versus how much convenience you would like. This is how you add your inbound rules. Navigate to where you want to store your server build. I'm going to create a server folder. Pull up the folder where the build is located on your computer. Select your files and copy them before going back to the EC2 folder and pasting the files. Once the download is done, execute the server build on the EC2 instance.
Move back to the Unity project. This is the server variable you would have needed. We're going to need to add the public IP of the server in the client address space soon, so keep this in mind. We're going to use this port for the next step. Change it if necessary, but keep the port number in mind that you're using. Navigate to your EC2 instance and go to the Security tab. Click on the security group attached to the instance. Edit the inbound rules and add a custom TCP and UDP rule before putting in the port number you chose for both rules. Set both sources to anywhere IPv4. Navigate back to the EC2 instance and copy the public IPv4 address and go back to the Unity editor. Add the public IPv4 address into the client address section. After that, you can run the game and you should see that your client connects. If you navigate back to the EC2 server, the client will be connected to the server. That's all that you need to do. I hope you liked the video and I hope you consider giving the video a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.